Well, hello there, guys. It's the B2, and welcome to the next series or the next episode of the Sky Factory 2 series. Yes, it is raining bacon. Imagine that. Uh, I've been asked a couple of questions, one about patterns and how to make the ME system auto pattern and, and create things on its own. Um, I've been asked about um, the cyclic assemblers versus the auto packager and, uh, and then uh, this compressed cobblestone setup, which a lot of people seem to want to emulate. The great thing about this is it takes no electricity to create all this cobble. Um, behind here is no power going there. Uh, there's no power underneath, so let's go ahead and crack through, and I'll show you that. Well, maybe let's crack one over. We fill onto a cable. There's no power underneath, so you guys get the whole clip here. The Ignis extruder can be made uh, to make cobblestone as soon as you can uh, and solve all your cobblestone needs. So, having said that, let's get into this. Um, we have got them set up in the configuration, and this is kind of wacky. I, I could go back and turn all these off but the item duct is pulling it out of the bottom right here basically so that is the bottom and it's going to create this all you need is lava and water and bang it will auto create cobblestone to the end of time if you don't have a cable it'll start spitting them out and doing all crazy stuff but the item duct um, is basic here's the uh, here's the name of it item duct on Wayla at the top that will give you the uh, the exact item you need to be able to see items through here if you make the opaque one it's going to put a white glass on it and you won't be able to see all the cool stuff floating down here but this is the cyclic assembler right here so if you um if you, you see it lighten up it waits till it gets nine and it goes and i'll show you that on the schematic so if you put the piece of paper in here for the schematic you got to make those and and uh and you can figure that out on your own you guys are smart put the pattern for the compressed cobblestone which is this hit the button bam it's going to turn into a the schematic that you place here and then boom it will start automatically making stuff and we got these configured input output blue orange blue orange right there so uh, it will spit out into the second little cyclic assembler here uh, this one's set for double compressed same thing put in here but hit the button bang double so the double is going to go into here you put the double in hit the pattern but it puts out a triple the triple is going to go into the import bus here and so for the import bus that is as it relates to the ME system. So if it's an import bus, it's going to import it back to the ME. If this is export, it would be pulling stuff from the ME to go into this little import bus, which would be an export bus, right? So anyway, you guys get the hang of that. So that is um, that is a basic little triple compressed setup. And if you run back to our ME system, this is Sky Factory, so I put up multiple terminals for the other guys on the island. However, after the first two days, everybody else quit, and I have continued playing. So... Maybe the first week. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. You can see I got 266,000 Manikia, uh, 117,000 Flint. It's absolutely ridiculous um, how we've got that stuff going in the background over there to auto sieve for that uh, to make life easy. So here's where it gets a little complicated, and here is where you're gonna have to pay attention because we are going to talk about patterns. Now, can you see how this says craft? It's the pattern terminal. So if I do stored, it'll show me everything in the ME system because it's hooked up, right? And I could show you that I can pull stuff out of here. Like let's make some glowstone. Da -da 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 -da. We can make some glowstone dust. Okay, well, what if I didn't want to make the glowstone dust? What if I wanted the system to know how to make glowstone dust on its own? Okay, what if I encode a pattern and it shows it? Now see it turns into this? And that's a tin gear and that's a machine frame because I'm also working to make these uh, solar panels automated and so I've kind of worked my way up to the tier three and, uh, and then I'm gonna make the leadstone frames but then I've got to make a redstone thing so I wanted to show you guys something simple uh, we've encoded it for glowstone now these over here are individually set up so each one has a monitor it has a place to make stuff underneath the molecular assemblers where everything gets put together and then it's got an interface in the back that's what that little thing is in the back and I'll show you let's hop over there I've left the roof off of this so behind here is the setup each one is hooked up to the ME system via a cable via a smart cable and they're both running two channels which is the two processors the molecular assembler I guess doesn't count which is kinda weird no this is one you can see it right there right the one blue and then the ME interface is two boom so there we go um, but you're going to need, and people get uh, screwed up on this all the time, you're going to need a co-processing unit and you're going to need a crafting storage. And the bigger they are, see I made the 64 here, um, you know, the, the more it can handle, right? So 
Uh, if you were to put in, I wanted to make 100,000 of something and you didn't have a 64K, you're not going to make 100,000. It would only let you make whatever the 128K or 64K. So if you put 100,000, it wouldn't make it. You'd need two 64 crafting storages. So these these are kind of unique. You have to build these in the shape of a box. If I was to add another one on top of here, it would shut it down, basically. So watch. If I take this off of here, did it fall all the way through? Oh, there it is. Shoot, man. Like, dang! Alright, so, if I put this on there, it's going to shut it down, and I'll show you what I mean um, by shut it down. Uh, it went offline. So, if I crack that, boom, these other ones come back online. And then, if I crack that one back up, you'll see them all slowly come back online, too. Well, eventually. What's going on here? There we go. Bang. Just took a second to cut the lights on. Uh, so, okay, so, B, that's great. That's fancy, whatever, man. Uh, these in... in E interfaces right here are going to be where we put our pattern. So if I stick the glowstone pattern in there, that one's going to process glowstone. So let's watch this, right? If we go back in here and we go to craftable, right? Boom. Now there's a thing for glowstone. So the system recognizes it. There's a pattern there for glowstone. So we're going to hit it and say, let's make 10,000 glowstone and next. So it says that we're going to need this many of those, basically the essence, 7,506 to craft 10k essences and start. Now if I come back over here, look what's being made. The main monitor says 9k, and I don't know why it reads that one. I guess it's the first one monitor that it comes across. But in here, the molecular, molecular assembler, you can see it working. It's got the particles. If I move next door, there's no particles. Move here, particles. So there we go. So that's the basics on how to do that. Well, um, so let's go and let's talk about something that's a little bit more complex to make, right? So the solar panel one is going to require a mirror, and it's going to require that. But the mirror is going to require this, three glass and an aluminum. So if I look, here's the mirror. Um, it's got the pattern, right? Three glass, and, it's, and it works. Then that solar panel one is in there, and then the solar panel two. So if I go to craft solar panel two, and I say, let's do 100 of them, and hit next, it's going to say to me, there is a thousand wood available to craft this. There's enough glass because I have two types of glass. There's enough gold. I need seven gold ingots um, because it has to craft these redstone reception coils because that's part of the tier two solar. So you guys follow how that works basically. But it's saying we have enough in here. If we didn't, let's let's go put an insane amount. We need we need twenty seven thousand of these. It's gonna say. Ooh, hey, man, that's a lot. You don't have enough wood. You don't have enough glass. You don't have enough. But, you know, it can go back and make glass. Like, we've got it set up. Um, but basically, it's got enough to craft all this stuff. So um, so we're going to cancel that. We're going to go back and set it for... Let's set it for 500 of these and hit the next button. It's going to say you're missing 9,650. 9, so let's go back and craft 100 and watch it. Okay, so there we go. So boom, now if I turn back around, whoops, wrong hallway, it's going to come back and say we're going to make 100 of those. So we're still making 7K, but you can see all these light up. On the far right, there's mirrors going. Um, there's We're going to convert stuff to wood. The glowstone's still going. We've we got 98 more of them to make. If we look down here, this just it's throwing out the, the level 1 solar panels. Bang, bang. It's making the... Um, it's making the mirror panels in there. So you can just see it just hustling right here. And that's why I like spreading it across multiple things to, to get stuff done, basically. So if I'm going to make solar panels, I'm going to use all of these interfaces in back of the molecular assemblers to keep them going. And so now I can just sit here, and it's like, okay, well, I've got extra space where I can run stuff. I can certainly do more. And if you look, here's my, my storage for my ME system. I haven't quite... Uh, gotten that up yet, but my next project is to automate um, patterns for the drives uh, within Sky Factory 2, which is a little bit different than a lot of the other ones, but I've been asked to, to automate that as well. So anyway, I hope you guys have learned something from the video about patterns, how to make them, how to put them into the interfaces and get them to work in the computers. Uh, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment, hit that like button, and follow, subscribe. Thanks. Have a great day.